All right, welcome to the chaos that is figuring out our plumbing system. What I'm trying to figure out right now is how to hook up our heat exchanger um, from the PEX that's coming out of the floor and finding the right fittings to go from the floor to the radiator hose to the heat exchanger and make that all happen in a very tiny space. We are uh, working in this spot down here. So here, after all day of battling, is the um, install. So we have the heat exchanger mounted on the wall here and um, then it goes into the fittings. These are the coolant intake and um, the coolant going back down hoses. Um, this is the hot water hose here. And that goes and attaches to the top of the heat exchanger. So, and then, uh, yeah, this is water side. This is our water coming in from the UV filter down here. It's this guy. And uh, yeah, so it's kind of buttoned up. We got one loose hose here that I gotta attach once this wall goes back up. So here's the last of the good views of this. Here, I am fabricating a filter mount to go into our water tank closet. I just recently did the first, striked up the first arc within the house where it has interior. I welded this, tacked this into place those two filters that I showed you earlier are going to be mounted on the inside here and then the pump is going to be mounted right here tank for the recirculating shower system will be mounted here luckily a couple L brackets will support it but we'll still have to fabricate some sort of way to secure it Soon, what might happen today is drilling a hole, two holes into the house. We want it to be able to fill up our water tanks from the outside. So we didn't have to haul water in and try to surpass all of the madness that's going to be within this locker. our recirculating shower system all installed. Starting kind of from the top of the system, we have a water inlet hose coming in to a nine gallon tank that's been secured with this cam strap. Water then will fill up the tank here. From the tank, you come out of the tank into this 3.5 uh, gallon per minute pump, which goes pumps into the accumulator tank. From there, you have a sediment filter, that blue guy, and then you have the two, um, and those are micron filters. We're gonna put a 20 micron filter in the first one and a five micron filter in the second one. Then that is piped down into a UV water sterilizer, and that's a six gallon per minute unit. From the sterilizer, we have a hose down on the bottom by the floor that goes down and then that is teed off. The hot water will go into the heat exchanger mounted on the wall and the cold water will be plumbed directly into the shower mixer. And then from the shower, we have uh, your choice of hot and cold and whatever mix you're gonna have that. Goes down into the drain and then from the drain back into 
this box, we have this black pump here. This is a one gallon per minute diaphragm pump to pump the water back through this top hose here and all the way back up into the nine gallon water tank. If you have any questions or concerns, let us know in the comment section below. Although we didn't design the system ourselves, we got the idea from other YouTubers. We will do our best to answer any of your questions. Make sure to turn on notifications, hit that bell so you don't miss any of our up and coming videos. We will keep you all in the loop for the projects we have on our to-do list.